I'm starting this video right from the tail end because I am utterly elated by the accuracy and the poetry and science of my Randonautica finds today. The intent was light and let's put it this way, Randonautica loves big physics and it knows all about it. So let's go on a journey that started on quite a dull grey Manchester day that turned into one of the most heartlifting, twinkly and well illuminated Randonautica journeys that I've ever been on. You really got to try this app if you've never tried it. And stop doing the spooky stuff and look ma, no stalkers. The light intent came about after our co-founder Auburn had a crazy light synchronicity where people all around were saying light, lighter, lights and it was obvious what our next intent should be. We're just on the way back from Philip's eye operation. He's had cloudy vision for the past six months. And just as we get off the tram, the sun starts coming out and he'll be able to actually see my beautiful face properly for the first time since we started dating. Guess what we're going shopping for now? A lamp. Oh, okay. Going lamp shopping. Lampity lamp. Oh. oh wow, they're a, a rare old pair. Is that a Mr. and Mrs? Oh. <laughs> Turns out there's a, oh, there's an owl with a tea light holder in it. He wants a turkey. <laughs> cobble, cobble. Well, shoes, little shoes. Oh, they'd never fit me. My feet are, do you want some hoof oil? for your tiny shoes you need hoof oil to get your foot in one of them we came out lamp shopping to the charity shops i suppose in america that's a goodwill thrift store no lamps except for a tea light holder with an owl on it or was that an owl with a tea light holder on it i really need coffee my brain is stopping working so some lights <laughs> They're cute. I mean, there's light everywhere, yeah. I'm just thinking about all the variations of light that we could be looking for right now. As I was in the coffee shop, I noticed that the light bulbs had very unusual spiral elements. And as I tried to film them, they left spiral shaped artifacts in the lens of my camera. How cool is that? Never seen that before. Randonautica loves a throwback. As I'm sat in the coffee shop, I spot the number plate Ada. Ada Lovelace discovered that a computer could follow a sequence of instructions. That is, a program. Some call her the mother of computing. I call her Randonautica's great-great-great-great-grandmother. And a few years ago, I actually spotted the Ada number plate at the precise point of the find on Ada Lovelace Day, which is the second Tuesday in October. Talk about pinpoint accuracy and meaningful finds, Randonautica. It's time to drop a point. We are on our way for a walk in some gardens. The pin kept dropping behind us, taking us way out of the way, so I dropped maybe three or four points, and it eventually landed here on a complex of buildings, never visited before, no idea what is in store. But as you can see, that point has landed directly in the centre of the complex. What we'll be waiting for is when we get there. The pin has dropped on Philip Godley Lodge, which obviously I've never been to before. This place... Whoa! Private property. We'll go and ask. I want to know who he was. So it's an apartment block. Here's a great Randonautica tip. Always, always Google your finds. Google street names, numbers, place names. 
you never know what you might find. And when I googled godly and Manchester, well, you could have blown me down with a little feather. The Godley Lodge was part of the Godley family estate. That is the Godley Observatory, built by Francis Godley about 100 years ago and home of Manchester Astronomical Society. The Godley family are famous for astronomy in Manchester and you don't need me to tell you that astronomy is all about light and it's also my number one favourite subject ever. I love space, yeah? And inside that dome is a monster telescope that I have yet to meet. Uh, I mean, astronomy is my favourite topic and there's a Godley observatory in Manchester just down the road there. I'm crying a bit. That was super impressive, Randonautica. <gasps> That's one of the best finds I've had for ages. As I said, the point had landed right next to Godley Lodge, somewhere in the vicinity of these gardens as well. Oh, Tree. Oh my gosh. It's gnarly, dude. And it's got a parking ticket. Morris Negra, Black Moonbury. Mmm. Okay, this is good. An ode to photosynthesis. Oh my God, this is well worth coming to. Oh, yay, oh my gosh. Oh wow, are we on holiday? I think we've come on holiday. What? We were just in the city centre of Manchester five minutes ago. It's free. The oldest build. Wow, it's free to go in. Okay. You're not in Manchester anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a sundial. Everyone knows I love a sundial, but that is a particularly beautiful sundial. <gasps> okay, light. Did it look? Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get the light out, going through it. Whoa, I knew there'd be some good light based. And it actually can tell the time. What time does it say? It says half one. Oh. Or nearly two. It's an hour out. Yeah, it's nearly one. Is it? I can't see it. Wow. Mm. Wow, it's, it's actually going straight through, isn't it? Whoa. equation of time on it. <gasps> That's wonderful. To obtain watch time, add or subtract the number of minutes on the graph for today's date or to, to or from the time shown on the sundial. <sighs> As sunshine passeth, so pass do we. Look, they won an award from the British Sundial Society for the magnificent replacement stained glass sundial. Like literally the point is just beyond that wall and that is what we have got here. I can't believe this place. Wow, look at you. Oh, jeez, that's so good. Oh, look at this room. Hey, it knew I was coming. The sun knew I was coming here today. It's that the sun and the moon. And the sunflowers. There's something about the moon up there. 
Oh, that one's in, um, that looks Latin. Right, I need to take a picture of that and get that translated. the shadow of a sundial should be somewhere here that is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen no catapults allowed you can imagine how delighted I am to find my face bathed in the first sunshine of a couple of weeks with sunshine actually streaming through a beautiful restored glass sundial at the location of the Randa Nautica find. The actual point is just beyond those greenhouses, but we're still well in the radius. Let's see if we can get out to them. Oh, so we have got the obligatory owl, a barn owl, 200 quid. Even better, the sundial has got a, I can't remember what it's called now, a locator, idiolocator. locator. It's got a stick on it, look. This is, even without finding the, oh look, here you go. Even without finding the... So this sundial is actually quite famous then. <laughs> but even uh, without the godly find next door, coming across that sundial is honestly one of my nicest finds ever. Let's have another look at the map. You can see that the point has landed behind some glass houses. Very light related indeed. The actual point is just behind that wall, but you can see the glass houses, <laughs> obviously. Oh, is there water? What is this? Ah, uh, oh. Okay, I'm happy with that. <gasps> What's this? <gasps> I don't know if I can actually get in there, but Whoa! <laughs> the Parsonage Garden, can we go in? No, but we can admire that. <gasps> this is our point. Okay, I've got my bearings now. That is the Godly Lodge. They are the glass houses. That is where the sundial is. And the point is obviously just in between the two. <sighs> and the crocus is open in the sunlight. This is probably one of the first times these have ever been open. Because it's been so cloudy and gray. Welcome to Manchester. The herbaceous border. <laughs> and this is where it brought us to he's just seen his first bumblebee hi oh heligan shine can you see it around the top of my head you get that on wet grass in fact you can see my whole halo there you know, they built that house nice and south facing, didn't they? Heiligenschein, sorry, wrong pronunciation. But this is where a bright spot appears around the shadow of the viewer's head in the presence of dew. It's also known as the holy light. Holy cow. Holy chicka bow wow. Randonautica knocking it out of the park today. Chicka bow Hello. wow schnauzer. Hello. Ah, nibbles. <laughs> Sorry, we're hijacking your dog. Oh, hello. That one's got bling on. Hello. Hiya. We're hijacking your dogs. Whoa, they are good. The poplars are great. Yeah, just a look. Good call. I feel like I'm on Game of Thrones. Whoa. This 
is going to be a long video. Um, we've just had a little walk through the grounds of the parsonage and come out on the River Mersey. Very famous to those who might like the Beatles. I think Liverpool must be that way, but we're in Manchester now. It's the next city on. Just on the way home now, I don't think I'll touch that. Just a little final hurrah on the way home. He wonders why he's got bad knees. Oh, bloody parakeets, invasive. The first honeybees of the year are waking up. Where are they? There they are. Yeah. So is that on the camera? Uh, Oh, there he is. She. I'm on mega zoom there. That looks like an invasive giant hornet through my camera, but it's actually tiny. Whoa, look how much pollen you've got already. There are lots of pollen covered bees already. There's loads. In fact, I'm actually struggling to photograph them. There's that many. Where? Whoa, how many are there? Buzz, 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 honeybee, honeybee, you try what you like, but don't sting me. This is the walk that just keeps on giving. Fletcher Moss Park. <gasps> this really is the walk that just keeps on giving. Oh, so I thought we were coming to the end of the walk and it turns out there's this. Oh yes, I love those like droopy, droopy pine trees. It's uh, mid-February, it's the day before Valentine's Day. Just if you're wondering about uh, the cycles of um, mid-British vegetation. Wow, oh my. We are loving this sunshine. Honestly, the sun has not come out for so long here. There's been a comet and we've not been able to see it because it's been so cloudy. The light finds keep on coming. This is a shade border. It's north facing and apart from taking natural light, blah, it helps give the gardener some idea of the plant suited to the sort of Shady corners found in most gardens. And it smells beautiful. Is that these? Oh, wow. They're beautiful. Even through my uh, snot fest right now. Well, I wouldn't have come here had it not been for Randonautica today, so. Hellebora. The creators of Randonautica have repeatedly said it's about time travel. How to time travel with it, I do not know yet, but I feel that the breadcrumbs are being laid down in front of us to go on some kind of time travel adventure. The more I randonaut, the more I feel like I'm getting closer to the answers. But for now, let's just admire the beauty of the light find tangled up beautifully with time travel hints. Supreme work, Randonautica. I love you so very, very much. 
see the light for yourself. Download the Randonautica app and join the big adventure.